we all game we talked about matching their intensity, you know, uh, especially on the defensive end. We got to get in there and they crashed the offensive board as well. We just had to get in there and dig down and make some stops and everybody get down there and start uh, fighting and scrambling for the rebound. And as you, you saw there, you know, the ball bounced around two or three times. We was able to come up with those 50 50 balls, and that's what we've been talking about doing. And we was able to do that down the stretch and, and got a couple of shots to fall for us. I'm going to ask you about uh, Tony coming off the bench because he had a he really gave you a spark when he got in there. Well, absolutely. You know, Tony Finch with a double-double, you know, 12, uh, 10 and 12. So, you know, he did a lot of good things. He, he brought that energy that we need around the basket. Uh, Luther, Luther didn't have it particularly going that well tonight, so we inserted Tony, and he was a lift right off the top. There late in the uh, first half and throughout the second half, you know, he just came in and did some good things for it. He scored some. He kept the ball alive, and he, and he got his hands on some rebounds, and, and that's what we need from our bench. We want to try to extend it some, but we have got to have guys giving that type of effort. Um, I don't want to uh, uh, do any coaching here, but I'm just wondering, he said he'd kind of been hurt with an ankle injury and everything. I was just thinking, is he the kind of guy now, if he's back healthy and does that, that he's, he can be like Bobby? kind of come off the bench early or something and, and jump in the middle and do Well, absolutely. You know, he, he's been a, you know, at Carver, you know, he he had double-doubles and uh, I think he probably had more than anyone in the state when he came out as a senior and, you know, he rebounds the basketball well, you know, so he can go and get his off the glass and things like that and, and he's been, a you know, again, been battling that ankle injury for the last month or so and, you know, he's still jumping around a little bit but tonight he came in and played big for us so we hopefully you know, this can carry on and he can get off to uh, uh, stay injury-free for a while, so we try to play him a little bit. Uh, Demarcus kind of came out of a shooting slump a little bit. Uh, I, I, that was big too, because you needed it. Absolutely, you know he, he's really been struggling with his shot, and and then he has this broken nose. But you know he's been toughing it out, and, and he got a couple shots to, to fall for him. And I was glad to see him go through for him because you know he, he's a vital part of our offense because we look for uh, him to do some scoring um, from long range and also putting on the floor and creating shots for other people. So it was good for to see him have some success today. Uh, since I won't see you tomorrow, I'll ask you well, whatever you know about Texas Southern coming in here on Monday. Uh, We're a great ball club. You know, they're very well coached. You know, uh, Coach Davis, Mike, he has them going well. And, you know, they have really good players. They got bigs that can play inside and out. They have some guards that puts on the floor and shoots them well. So we got a work cut out for us. So we're going to go and look at some video on tomorrow morning and, and uh, try to put a game plan together so we can try to come out and get one on Monday. The kid from Marshall, is he a guard? A transfer the, the kid from Marshall is a guard, but they got the big guy from West Virginia. Somewhere. So, so you got one guy. In